Today I'm going to be talking about what should you do when you've been given a topic and you don't know where to start. What I suggest is that you brainstorm and so I'm going to be giving you five steps that will help you in the brainstorming process. Hi, my name is Nancy Hardcastle. I'm a speech coach and my mission is to help public speakers stand up, be great, and create radical change in the world. Today I'm back with my series, which I call Five Minutes to Great, in which I teach you in five minutes a tip that will help you in your public speaking endeavors. The first step is what's called, unfortunately, the brain dump. In the brain dump, what you do is pretty much just what it sounds like. You take all the ideas that you have in your head and you dump them out on a page. So if you write uh, by, if you per prefer writing by hand, that's fine. Get out your pen and paper. If you prefer the computer, that's fine as well. In the brain dump process, all you're doing is anything that you can think of regarding your topic you put it down. This isn't the time to edit or evaluate. So it's not called a brain harvest where you go and you're picking out individual ideas. You're just putting them all out there. If it comes to you, you get it down. Step number one is dump. Step number two is you set it aside. So you take your list and you don't look at it for a few days. And this is helpful in order to give you some perspective so when you come back to it, You've lost that emotion or those initial feelings of wanting to reject something or loving something, and you're able to look at it with fresh eyes. After you've set it aside for a few days, what you want to do is now come back and you want to evaluate each idea. When you've written them out, hopefully you've written every idea on its own line. And so now you're going to use three symbols to evaluate these ideas that you came up with. The first symbol is a star. Any idea that you go, oh, I really like that, I really want to talk about that, I think that's going to work well, put a little star next to it. The next symbol is a question mark. This is when you're just not sure. Maybe you don't know if you have enough information to talk about that idea. Maybe you're not sure if you want to talk about that idea. Or you just have some uncertainty about it. That's a question mark. And then the third one is an X. <laughs> and an X is when you go, what was I thinking? Or that's a really stupid idea. Or it may just be, I don't really want to talk about that. So you've got, now you've got your list and you've got your stars, your question marked ideas, and your X ideas. And the next step is you're going to group these ideas. This is where if you wrote it out by hand, you're going to want to transfer it to a word processing program. If you've already got it typed out, all you need to do is move all your start ideas up to the top, put all your question marked ideas in the middle, and then put all your X marked ideas at the bottom. And you may never look at those again. I like to save them just because sometimes it's interesting to come back later and go, hmm, I kind of like that idea for something else now, or maybe you just change your mind. So now you've got those ideas that you like or you're not sure about uh, on the top two thirds of your page. Just to review, you've dumped, you've left it aside, you've evaluated, you've grouped them. And the last step, number five, is that you're going to play around with them. If you do artistic things, you understand that there's this initial process where you're just kind of playing with whatever elements. You're playing with the fabric or you're playing with the paint or you're playing with the little pieces of paper and you're moving them around and you're just trying to, trying to see how it feels and find a direction. Uh, if you don't happen to do art, you can think of it like doing a jigsaw puzzle where you work on a chunk and you realize, well, it doesn't fit over here, and you move it around, you try it over here, you try this piece over there, you try fitting things together in different ways. And that's what the final step is about. You're looking at your ideas. Remember, you're only looking at the, the starred ones and the question mark ones. And you're asking yourself something like, what could I do with these? Do I see patterns? Do some things fit together? Are some things repeated? Perhaps something in the question mark list could serve as an example or a small detail for something in your starred list. It's a time to 
Look at what you have and think about how you might want to use it in the speech. So those are your five steps. We're almost out, actually we're out of time. If you're ready to continue, I suggest that you go to my blog post called How to Put to Organize Your Speech in Six Steps, I think. And you'll be starting at step number two because step number one is how to brainstorm. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope this was helpful and I will see you next time. Bye.